Good morning and welcome to Food Talk TV on this beautiful third Saturday of October. I'm your host Ryan and you're going to be getting it in with Ryan because we're going to be getting some, uh, I don't get, I guess you, I guess you can't really call them scotch eggs anymore, but we're going to do a play on scotch eggs where we're using chorizo instead of uh, normal breakfast sausage to wrap them up and we're not going to be deep frying them because we don't deep fry things on this show. We smoke things, so we're going to be sticking them on the smoker. And then, I'm going to stuff these cherry tomatoes somehow. Why are you stuffing so many things? Because you told me that's what I had to do. <laughs> it's stuffed week on Food Talk TV. That's our theme week. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to be stuffing sausage with eggs and smoking it. And I'm going to be stuffing some little cherry tomatoes. And then while we have the smoker fired up, I don't know if we'll have time for it on this show or not. But I got some plump jalapenos because I just can't fire up the smoker for a few eggs. <laughs> just for a few eggs. No, can't do that. And then we'll make some uh, uh, quick pickled onions too because all that meaty, chorizo-y, rich, eggy, and we're, we're, we're soft boiling our eggs too. So we're looking for a, a runny yolk or a jammy yolk. Hopefully we get that. And all that rich, unctuous, sausagey, eggy goodness needs some acid to cut through it. And pickled onions are great with barbecue anyway. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Let's get to it, y'all. Thank you for joining us. Please be tapping those screens and share the live with your friends. Um, I do have some eggs to get us started, but I am currently behind the camera, but I'm also peeling the eggs. <laughs> yes, my boss wife is amazing because while I was running laps around Nashville just a few minutes earlier, uh, she was soft boiling eggs for me, and now she's peeling them. Yes. So, Give it up for your manager. Woo! All right. The lovely mustard queen. <laughs> right. And our smoker is doing much better than I thought. We're we're at about 194 here on our smoker count, and I'm shooting for somewhere around 225. Should smoke those eggs for about 30 or 40 minutes to cook the sausage. And um, yeah, let's get started. We have the plastic Let's wrap here. Let's get started. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a, 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 a parchment? Um. Because I would like to have that. Aha, yes. Parchment. And plastic. And butcher. Yes. Because this All is of kind of a tedious task. Because basically, if you don't know what a scotch egg is, it is essentially a softer, hard-boiled egg that is wrapped with breakfast sausage and then it's breaded and fried it's usually dredged but this one we're doing the take on the soft jammy eggs but we will be wrapping it with chorizo instead so and they will be hitting the smoker so i don't know what to call these eggs but i think we've stepped away from the scotch part of the eggs i should have honed my knife before this <laughs> it may be close to uh needing a carpet oh man Y'all, thank you for joining. Please be tapping those screens. Welcome to Food Talk TV. If you're new here, we do live cooking shows on the daily. Monday through Friday, we do multiple shows a day. Saturday and Sunday, we just have the one each. This is Getting It In With Ryan. He starts his show at 10.35 a.m. Central. Call it figuring out parchment paper with Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> getting in parchment paper with Ryan. And unfortunately, I don't have any plans for uh, radishes. Oh yeah, no radishes. no radishes. You're always getting morning. it in with radishes. I'm getting it in with radishes, yeah. I'm sure there'll be garnishes. Oh yeah, we'll throw some oh, throw some radishes on the smoker. We might wrap some radishes up in chorizo and throw them on the smoker. Yeah, I guess it depends on how much chorizo we have. Yeah, I know. I was wondering if I should get two of those things, but I think we can stretch it out. Yeah, I think so. And if not, we have some very soft boiled eggs. So we had the water all nice and, or I did this. Um, we had the water nice and boiling, and then straight from the fridge, these eggs went in there, and five-minute timer. Usually for soft-boiled eggs, I do ten, or I'm sorry, usually I do six minutes with that, but um, I, want them, I want them underdone. 
for the smoker because we're going to cook these again. I usually tear into this, but I want to carefully unwrap it this time. Oh, yeah. So I don't want chunks of plastic in my chorizo. Yeah, we got enough plastic wow. things going on. This is I've never opened a meat package like this in my life. Right? Let me know if you have because yeah. this has just never occurred to me that it was a thing that we could do. Yes. So, let's see what we can do with so it. So I've made scotch Here. eggs before on my show Cutting the Mustard on Food Talk TV. But I'm usually the one wrapping the eggs, so this is Ryan's first experience with this task. Let's see. Yeah. How many, yeah, it is. It really is. Um, how many eggs do we have? So we have... We have six. We have seven, actually. Seven. But, but you know, if we run out of chorizo, it's fine. We'll just right. have eggs. I like eggs. If I wasn't the mustard queen, I would be the egg queen. The egg queen. Yes. I mean, you can be both. Yeah, I can be queen of multiple you can have territories. Two kingdoms. Two queendoms. Two queendoms. Queendoms. It's a queendom, right? A queendom. A yes, queendom. I like it. Wow, you're such a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for joining. Let's tap those screens, please. Let's see if we can get them to a thousand in the next four minutes. A thousand in four minutes? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it happens. I, I feel like our audience can do it. We can try it. Yeah. If not, you know, it's fine. We'll still be here making eggs. Who's in there? Do I know anybody? Oh, we just have people joining and liking. I see Mammon96 is tapping. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. And y'all, if you're not following Food Talk TV, we do these live cooking shows every single day. Monday through Friday, we have two shows a day. We have a variety of creators. Sausages here. All right, yeah. cool. Uh, I'm going to set these over here to the side. I'm going to look better than others. Oh my gosh, y'all. Peeling soft-boiled eggs is a task, and you have to be gentle and tedious, and I'm pretty proud of myself for these because I didn't break any of them. Ooh. Yes. Look at you. I know. I'm so proud. Yes, and try to make these even. I'm going to start with these smaller ones here. Man, huh. this is, yeah, you get to watch me figure out sausage. I wish it was probably a little bit colder, but it's been traveling around in my vehicle with me. Um, yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Because that's what, what I've been doing. I think the plastic wrap will help. I think so, too. And if we have to, we'll hit it with a little bit of cooking spray. Um, man, I love that. Easy glide. I love the easy, yeah, the easy glide. Bonnie and glide. So I have a... Rolling thing. Rolling. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> that that's, thing. What, that's what that thing is. Let me roll in this out in some sort of fashion. Because I want it to be thin. Welcome in, Diane. And I really want to be able to do all these eggs with all this salt. But I want it to be thick enough that, like, now you got some meat on them eggs. Right. All right, so we're going to turn this upside down. <laughs> turn those plastic wraps upside down. All right, cool. Huh. And we will stick in here an egg. Man, I need a sink over here. Right? <laughs> I am going to invest in one of those little camping sinks. Oh, yeah. I like the chorizo with this because the chorizo is already super seasoned already. We've bought this chorizo before and it's very flavorful. Yeah, it's very similar to uh, breakfast sausage in texture. So maybe, 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 maybe it'll work for us. I've even seen people like sandwich the plastic wrap and use the plastic wrap, but whenever I've done that, it never works out for me. Yeah, I know, man. It's it's a it's a this is a daunting. And once you get the hang this of is it, a daunting task right here. This but is, once you get the hang of it, that's when you're done. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh no, no, that's that, that is the rule of life. The last one is going to be when you fully learn it, and then you probably won't do this again for several months. That's how my job is. 
at work. I do a thing, I learn the thing, I perfect the thing, and then I'll have to do it for probably another year or so. Right. And then I have to do it again. It's a brand new <laughs> experience. I feel over. like you did a rather good job. I mean, I think the chorizo really, you know, sticks better than the sausage does. Yeah, it's it sticks all right. <laughs> it, it wants to stick to this, but um, it's pretty greasy, so that's good. Yeah, that's what we want. And I'm gonna set these uh, the the overlap joints here on the bottom of that. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. We want to try to make it pretty because we, you know, right? But. I mean, we're not going Maybe to... Maybe lay it on top of the plastic wrap? I don't know. You yeah. do you. You do you. Possibly. We're not going to sacrifice a, a sacrifice fashion for function, though. Right. Um, all right. I need you to hit, hit me with a little cooking spray on here because I'm gonna, I, I've only got this oh, much did you parchment. Oh, out that? Uh, uh, no, it's in the pantry over there. Oh, okay. I remember you looking for it. But y'all, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap those screens, share the live. Do, 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 do. Oh, Ooh, I will be your clean hands. Oh, a little sticky oh. slide there. Oh, does that All work right. a lot better? Yeah, it does. And I'm gonna have to run through a lot of pairs of gloves here because I'm gonna touch my rolling pin and this and that and, and uh, that all creeps me out. Yeah, so, I mean, um, you know, but I'm better safe you. than sorry. Yeah. Call me Birdie, what's up? Welcome in. Yes, I'm so. Yes, he's gonna be washing his hands, doing a lot of glove action here. We are making a take on scotch eggs, where we already have some soft boiled eggs here, and he's wrapping them in chorizo, but rather than breading and deep frying them, these are gonna hit the smoker. Hey, Babs. Babs. <laughs> Babsy. I think that's a different Babs, I don't know. Oh, is it a different Babs? Oh. I don't know. Or did she change her her her, uh, her profile pic? Maybe. But either way, welcome in, Babs. All right, I am going to go ahead and share the live as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, backup Babs. <laughs> there we go. Backup Babs. <laughs> hey, Babs, Babs from Ohio. <laughs> Babs from Ohio. Okay. Nice. Nice. What no, course? Babs, we do oh, have no, a regular no. named Babs that comes in here a lot, so. <laughs> Maria Mall is in, hello. But welcome in, Babs, nice to have you here. If Babs you... is a great person, so I like more Babs. More Babs, the more Babs, the better. Yes. Uh, uh, you would do well to like, use the whole workspace for this and then just not put on 16 pairs of gloves. That sounds kind of wasteful, but I don't have that luxury, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Right. And since my hands are a little Ooh. wet, and these gloves are oh yeah, gloves not large. They say they're large, but they're really. Not. That's one way to tell the audience you have big hands. <laughs> <laughs> or small gloves. Or right? small yeah. gloves, but yeah, putting Medium on gloves gloves. when they're when your hands are wet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I don't want to stand here and just like shake my hand. Like, you know, we could do jazz hands. <laughs> It's okay, this Maria Mall. She says she's sorry she's late. She remembered we were on and then, you know, got caught up. But it's okay because we were late, yeah. too. You're late. We're late. We're all late. We were so prepared to be here on time. The, but most, then... the most important thing is we're here. You're here. Uh, we're getting it in. With Ryan. With Ryan. Yeah, we're trying to get in some gloves. Getting it in the gloves. With Ryan. <laughs> we'll do some actual cooking here at some point. Yes, these will be hitting the smoker. I'm excited about this idea. I'm super excited about this idea. So excited that I'm not just curling into a ball and crying after wrestling with those gloves. That there wouldn't you go. be getting it in with Ryan. That'd be crying with Ryan. Yeah, we're not crying with Ryan. We're getting it in with Ryan. So the oil underneath adds an inter interesting uh, slipperiness here to this whole process. It kind of wants to. That's about, I think, what I need. I was pretty close on the last one, but I felt it came up a little short. Hey, Ryan, we're dealing with a little bit of technical difficulties. Something's up with this, so I got to restart. I'm sorry. So we will be back. You want to re? Is it, is it the phone thing again? Yeah. Get back in with Ryan. There we go. So what are you doing now? I am doing the same thing I was doing uh, before. <laughs> okay. But I am I am rolling out some chorizo sausage 
with these nice, beautiful oh, soft-boiled eggs. I can just tell those are running in. Oh, so wonderful. Yeah. And I'm gonna be wrapping them up. So we're doing a uh, kind of a play on scotch eggs. And it is going to be smoked scotch eggs, but they're not gonna be scotch eggs because we're using chorizo, so I don't know what kind of eggs that makes them, but that's what we're doing, so. Yeah. That, that, all of that, you know what? I, I, I think the oil helps it roll out a little thinner here. Awesome. I'm gonna pinch that off, and we might have enough, but I don't know if it will help it adhere to itself as well, so I don't know. Yeah. We're, these, these are, this is an eggs pyramid here. Right. And I am stuffing this sausage with eggs because it is... Stuffed week! Stuffed week. It is stuffed week on Food Talk TV. And our fearless leader told us that's what we had to do. You gotta stuff things this week. Yep, gotta be stuffed. So what, we got another show tonight. Oh no, we have, we have, we have, oh, we got a show, all right. We have Grub Match on tonight. Grub Match tonight. And, uh, but they're not going to be, they might be stuffing. Do they have to stuff something too? No, they don't have to stuff anything. You should throw a curveball at them and make them stuff something. Ooh, I got to figure out how yeah, to do that, do that live show. Do that. Because <laughs> on well, Saturday nights do we do it Grub now, Match. And then they're going to be scrambling because yes. they're already feverishly. I can see Kaz over there right now. Oh yeah, he's probably Feverish doing like another test run. Doing chefy stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, throw some, make his life harder. Right. So if you're unfamiliar with Grub Match, that is our cooking competition. We get a challenger. Say, this is what. Okay. We get a challenger that challenges someone from Food Talk TV, and then they do a live where. Oh wait, what about if I roll it out? That's okay. Um, okay. I'm you're not, you're just set on yeah, using multiple just sets of gloves. Using all the gloves that I can here. Yes. Yep. And so I started with the smaller sausages there. We'll go not as extreme on this one. And oh shit! Oh, I have not been paying attention to the smoker tent. I need to pinch that off. Oh yeah. I'm following you. Because what temperature were you looking for? 260, and that's not a one. Well, I'm not looking for 260. I was looking for 225, and this is going to be extremely difficult because this type of smoker, you don't want to let it go. It's it's harder to bring the temp down than it is to slowly bring it up. But, you know, we were trying to squeeze all of this into an hour, and sometimes that's just really freaking hard to do. Especially with so, a smoker. Especially with a smoker. Yeah. And when you're not paying attention to that temperature, we were at 195 when we first started, and I was like, oh, oh, oh like a day's ago, not looking at my thermometer or my. Would opening it for a minute or two help? That would be the worst thing you could do in this particular situation because you're going to let an inrush of air in there and it's going to feed that fire. It would lower it momentarily and then it would rise back up, and uh, we'd all be having a really tough day around here. Yeah. And some really um, uh, 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 not. Not jammy, a good time. Not jammy eggs, or not even soft boiled on here. Yeah. And some really um, uh, 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 not. Not jammy, a good time. Not jammy eggs, or not even soft boiled. That's the trick. All right. You don't want to make big adjustments to that thing either, because then you're going to put out your fire. Maria Mull's you back don't in. Want to do Hello. Because y'all, if you're just joining us, we're doing a take on Scotch eggs, but instead of breakfast, if you're unfamiliar with the Scotch egg. It is breakfast sausage that's wrapped around a softer, hard-boiled egg, and then it's dredged and deep-fried. And so, what? It is breakfast sausage that's wrapped around a softer, hard-boiled egg, and then it's dredged and deep-fried. And so, what he's doing? We have some soft-boiled eggs here, and we're wrapping them with chorizo, and going through all of our gloves. Going through all the gloves. Yes. No glove, no love. <laughs> My hands aren't wet this time, so yeah. it's not going to so be quite as So this is what we got working so far. The chorizo is already pretty well seasoned, so that was a step we got to skip. Y'all, welcome in. Please be tapping those screens. I appreciate y'all tapping the screens and sharing the live. Hey, look, Food Talk TV liked the live. Hey, Food Talk TV. Yeah, and if you're new to Food Talk TV, we do live cooking shows on the daily, Monday through Friday. We have two shows a day. 
Be sure you're giving us a follow to see the variety of people we have. And also check out our website. That's where you can see the schedule of who's coming on next. We also have recipes. Creative Creations, thank you for following. And Anna, thank you for the follow. I figured Y'all are much appreciated. We like having new friends here. I have figured out we gotta just kinda dress them up a little bit. Right. And it does help yeah. to have them overlapping like you're doing because when sausage cooks, it constricts, like yeah. it shrinks. Yeah. So it's good to overlap it like what you're you doing. You want these to look like Frankenstein's uh, stitched parts. But you know what? It would be themey. <laughs> Franken eggs. Franken eggs. All right, so yeah, and I, and I think then we just pinch off a little excess and save it to, uh, to egg another day. And so that first cooking spray that we put on there is really kind of just carrying through here. I like, I like that. So nice. we don't have to reapply our cooking spray. Yeah, so when you're doing this, it's best to like keep everything as cold as you can. But then also a trick that we figured out along the way is to use cooking spray on the bottom of the parchment paper. I've seen so many different tips and tricks for these, and I feel like I've tried a bunch of them. Oh man, there we go. Oh, that so we're is doing beautiful. pretty well. We haven't damaged any eggs. Yeah. Taylor didn't damage any eggs when she was peeling yeah. them. Um, I would have probably been. Well, there's kind of one little casualty, but yeah, that's, that's okay because we only have six. Well, we're trying for seven here, so yeah. That's all right. That's all right. If there's only one, we're, yes. we're you know we're doing well. That was a um, an allotted uh, mess up. I can't wait to get these on the smoker. I can't either. This is a whole process. It's like the project of the century over here. Right. This is what. <laughs> this is one reason why I don't make Scotch eggs, even though they're one of my favorite things on the planet. I don't make them on the regular because it is a tedious task. But we are. Um, we're dedicated. We're dedicated, and we are. We're, we're making some food for our game, which is is it's actually early today somewhat is a uh, uh, 2 30 yeah so I guess like a matinee you could say right? how long will these take to cook on the smoker uh, probably about 30 to 40 minutes so we're hoping 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 uh, maybe less than that now because the smoker sits at 270 degrees crap I threw away my uh, your plaster grab my plaster. We I'm have gonna more. do another one while my hands are still clean to uh, avert oh, yes. another Thanks for asking, wow, Creative we Creations. We are very interactive, so feel free to ask some questions and say some things. Have you ever had a scotch egg before? I'm curious if y'all have tried scotch eggs before. I feel like as soon as people learn what a scotch egg is, you know, aside from disliking pork or eggs or anything, um, people get really excited and want to try it. You can use another protein. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw someone do a ground salmon once, and that's been on my mind. Ground salmon. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. You know, I wanted to, uh, um, I was thinking about using uh, lox. Just wrapping this. lox. Yeah, lox. But the thing about that is I couldn't find any actual lox because I want to put it on the smoker. Um, I don't, I, I want lox, which is just a salt cured salmon. Uh, and as y'all, thanks for the follow. And most of the things you're going to find are going to be like grob locks, which is a uh, salt cured and smoked salmon. So I didn't want it to already be smoked, I just wanted salt cured salmon and then I was going to smoke it. But I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to be smoky, double smoke, smoke, smoke. Uh, but all the salmons that you'll, that I'll find at my grocery store, because I looked when I was over there today, uh, were, were cold smoked. Rosalie said that they've never seen Scott at Scotch eggs made with chorizo. Learn something new every day. I don't. Think I don't know if we've seen it either. We haven't seen it either. Yeah. So that's that's what's happening here. Yeah. So I think the chorizo will, will uh, give us some nice flavors. Cooking with Mama T is in the Ooh, house. Mama Welcome T. in. Hey hey, Mama T. Mama T was my competition on Grub Match last Saturday. Our ingredient was potatoes. It was such a fun. I believe that the voting is already cut off, but it's all, all good. We appreciate everyone who came out to vote. And then tonight will be Kaz versus Nick Bonono, and they will be doing yogurt for their ingredient. I feel like I got off super easy with the uh, potatoes. Potatoes were fun. All right.
spring. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're yes. almost on the smoker. And then we need something to do while these are on the smoker because we're not just going to sit out and watch the uh, you know smoke billow out. It would be very difficult to get a camera inside of the smoker. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool, though. Yeah, but like, oh, man. there would be so much smoke. Uh, yeah, and that'd be an expensive setup. <laughs> yeah, it would like be an expensive camera setup. Right, but I mean, I if they can do the it in space, I guess. Oh like, well, yeah, yeah. I think they will. Yeah, yeah, they 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 do that in space. Outer yes. space. So y'all give cooking with Mama Tia follow because she does do a lot of live shows on her own page. She does a lot of cooking. I love cooking lives. If you do cooking lives, let me know. I'd love to watch you. Thanks, right. Mama T. I got my uh, thing that I already did here. Put that guy out there. Oh yeah. Is that cooking spray that still holding over from earlier? Yeah, yeah. It's still it's 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 holding up. Hello, Forged. Hello, welcome in. Yep, he's just going through all the gloves. <laughs> all the gloves. Here, I will hold this down for no, you. No, it's okay, it's okay. You, you got know, it? I don't need it, yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't have to do all that. I got this. Heard I'm working too hard. You just stay over there and be a queen. My pleasure. <laughs> hey, first time here. So he is making a take on scotch eggs. So if you're unfamiliar with a scotch egg, it's breakfast sausage that is wrapped around a softer or hard boiled egg. And then it's typically breaded and deep fried. But for this take, we are gonna be smoking this chorizo and then, or smoking these eggs and we're using chorizo. So we're about to hit the smoker soon. He's also gonna be working on some stuffed maters. Yep, that's what we'll be doing while we are on the smoker. So I'm at 275 on my smoker. I may go out there and knock it down just a little bit because we are making tiny adjustments. Yeah, because we're looking for like 220, but right now the grill's at 275. So what are you doing to bring the temperature down? I am manipulating my top end just a little bit. I mean, just, you don't want to travel too far here. Um, like open it up or? Closing it. We're going to close it. it bring that temp down we don't really mess too much with this bottom but since we went a little higher uh and this thing has just been fired up i am going to the bottom just a little bit just tiny adjustments at a time on this thing and you don't want to get impatient with it right we this don't want to kill it thing where you you want to be impatient at all you just want to this is an all day thing that we're going to be doing uh not all day caroline welcome in Alrighty, back with the eggs, Ooh. which we did soft boil these ahead of time. All I did was um, pot of boiling water and then straight from the fridge, these went in for five minutes, immediately into the ice bath, let those hang out in there for like 10 minutes and then carefully peel them because they are still pretty soft after five minutes. Usually with soft boiled, I like to do six minutes, but. Thank you for tapping the screens and sharing the live. If you are new to Food Talk TV, we do live cooking shows daily. On Monday through Friday, we have two shows a day. This is Ryan's show, Getting It In With Ryan. We're, oftentimes we're talking about the games that happen too for college football. If you can't tell, he is wearing a Vols shirt. Yes. We are Tennessee Vols fans. Seeing as this is the third Saturday in October. Yes. And on the third Saturday of October, if you didn't know or weren't, weren't so inclined, every third Saturday of October, Tennessee and Alabama face off, uh, and they alternate locations every single year. I'm kind of nervous because after that beat down um, where Ban Vandy beat Alabama, I'm pretty sure that Alabama's just like, no, we can't embarrass ourselves again. Yeah, but, you know. But you know, there's there's feeling like that and being about it. So yeah. <laughs> today we'll get to see if they're about it. There you go, y'all. Let me know if you're rooting for any of the college football games in the comments. Obviously, we are Vols fans. Yeah, your teams. Let us know if we got any Bama fans in there that want to talk some uh, talk <laughs> some trash or some smack. 
Yes. Or just be like, oh no, we don't think we're going to be able to beat you. User 256, thanks for um, the follow. And Mary, thanks for the follow. Y'all are great. Let us know if, you know. Yeah. Oh, what time is the game? It is at 2.30 um, Central Time. Ooh. So, hey, it's 11.11. And 11 11. So, here in a few minutes. Michael Perez, welcome in. No, Melissa has not joined today. I'm sure she'll be in momentarily. All right, we got. She loves watching Ryan. She says she's Ryan's biggest fan, even though I'm his wife right here. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about Scott Jiggs last night? That's funny. Who was? Um, apparently, Melissa was talking about Scott Jeggs on her show last night. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well. So it's funny that, and you know, we didn't even tell Melissa this is what we were doing, so that's funny. I yes. know, right? Yeah, was, there was no, no uh, ulterior motives here. Yes. Oh, you just texted me? Thanks. I will be sure to respond soon. All right. We're getting toward the, uh, the, the, the... It's the final scotch egg. Yeah. Do, do, do. We're, on our, we're on the last lap here, or the last couple of laps. If we make our sausage pile over there big enough to cover that one uh, injured egg. Yeah. And we might just, we might just accomplish it. Man. It's kind of like you're a clown with all gloves. the like ties, <laughs> but instead of that, you're just pulling out more and more gloves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll blow that one up into a, um, a, an animal of some sort. Glove animals. Hmm. If this doesn't work out for me, that could be my uh, next act. Glove animals rather than glass animals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Creative Creation says, do Batman. <laughs> uh, 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 Batman, yes. <laughs> so yes Come up a thank you all so much for joining us sure. we are oh, doing there. some so rather than breading and frying these we will be throwing these on uh, the smoker yeah they would normally be breaded and fried and throwing them on the smoker if you're using like a breakfast sausage or or even a ground beef you use you can you can wrap these you can grind up anything and wrap them in it uh ground turkey would be good i really want to try um, the ground salmon the ground salmon would be great. I really I want to try, try that. The ground turkey with you, you know, whatever your protein of choice. Yeah, but this is a bit of a tedious task, so at this point we're just over it. Uh, but if you're gonna do that, then I would suggest um, hitting them with some rub. But we're not gonna be hitting them with rub because chorizo has so many spices already embedded into it. We're gonna put them on there naked. Naked eggs. I like eggs. So do you think that's going to be enough sausage for this sad egg? It's, you know what, we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. One way or the other. We're going to find out. Yeah. I got this. Okay. I got this boo. And then the sad egg can go in the middle. Yeah. And then hopefully it can be a happy egg. Yeah. So uh, try to re-establish Cooking with Father Preneurs in the house. He does his show. He's our newest Food Talk TV creator. He does his show at noon on Thursdays, Central Time. So be sure to check him out. His yes. recipes are up on Food Talk TV as well. He does have very unique and creative recipes and shows you all sorts of tips and tricks on how to save money at the store doing some fancy meals. Father Preneur is very fun to watch, and he is very informative. So if you like to learn... Uh, just listen to watch and listen to Father Kinnear for a little while. I love a good educational channel. I do too. Alright. And he teaches you how to stretch out your dollar or your uh, penny. Pennies and dollars, yeah. Pinch your pennies and stretch your dollars, which is always a thing. Uh, you should be doing because you know if you got them you might not know when you might not have them All right. get the most out of your food i think this is going to be enough chorizo for that i think it is i think it is Whoa. wow i was got? not what expecting that to happen dang well and there goes my the, chef snack the last i know right there goes <laughs> that, the injured egg yeah just has a little bit of a loss here but you know what 
this isn't going to be a loss when it's done being smoked. So to keep things sanitary around here. He's used like half a package of gloves at this I've point. I've used, um, this will be my 14th pair of, of gloves. Are you serious? Well, there's seven eggs and there's two hands. Oh yeah, so this is I was thinking egg. pairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, did I say gloves or pairs? I don't know what I said. I don't know what you said. I think you said gloves. 17 but, gloves, yeah. Yeah, 14. Four, did I say 17? I don't know what I said. I've, yes, yeah, yeah, whatever, but I've used a lot of them. But one tip and trick that we found to make this process a lot easier, I sprayed the parchment paper with the cooking spray. Yep. And I just did that once. It pretty much lasted yeah, the whole time it, through. It just kind of it, it just kind of uh, established a boundary film there. I guess is what we're going to yes. call it. And this is the very last one. This was not planned, so we're um, hoping pushing this sausage here a little, this chorizo here a little bit thin on this one. Um, we might have to do some skin grafting <laughs> here on it, but we'll, so. we're we're going to make it work. Yes. Because we can just massage it a little bit. So these eggs are still runny on the inside. Still runny. They are yeah, soft. Boy, TX Row. Look at them. Right. Those are some. Mm, I love it. Doing some patchwork here. Patchwork. Yeah, yeah. You do want to make sure it's very much so covered because as the sausage yeah. cooks, it uh, shrinks. All right. So yeah. So we're gonna just kind of massage that. Do a little massagey love to it. And uh, I think this, this, yeah, this is, this has been, an a success or an egg is this is excess in total so, egg this has been very excessive because like half excessive. of our show time has gone to wrapping these they really are a pain yep yeah, so thankfully um they should only take yeah they shouldn't take too long because the smoker is a little hot yeah, it's a little hot it's Sasha, 278 welcome in. right now and we're gonna try to keep that down when we do open it up we're gonna tighten our vents up just a little further thanks for the heart me and try to keep it under the 300 mark. I mean, I'm not upset with uh, getting around 275 to 300. It'll give us a little bit of a quicker cook time. Um, and we didn't we didn't use any rub. Now, if you use rub and you like to use brown sugar in your rub, like so many of us do, or any kind of sugar in your rub, you don't want to get those temperatures up that high. You, you you're gonna like just carbonize your your um, whatever it is that you're rubbing so but we didn't use any kind of sugars I don't know if there's sugars in the sausage but they're not a um, you know they're it's not a coating on it you know so right. don't want to burn your sugars so Sasha popped in and Sasha. she was doing basically what I'm doing but last night with her husband mr. crown royal on his show where they made Texas Twinkies and um, volcano oh, potatoes because yes. we are in the middle of stuff week and we she wants in, to know what you're making. I am making um, a take on scotch eggs, but we're not going to be frying them. We're going to be smoking them and we're using chorizo sausage in lieu of breakfast sausage and we're not going to be breading them. We're just going to throw them out there on the smoker like that. So I'm stuffing sausage with eggs and um, we're going for a nice runny or jammy yolk so I'm hoping that we can accomplish that all right I'm just clean up my workstation all nice and easy here oh I love that for a clean workspace there you go thank you and so oh yeah we got to take these out to the I probably should have hmm? probably should have kept those gloves on um, well, I have tongs, but... I'm not tonging those. No, no, no. Yeah, not we're tonging gonna, these. We're going to be gentle with these These guys. are delicate, guys. Delicate. Irma, thanks for the follow. Appreciate Good you eggs. following. So, so, yes. So, when I cooked these eggs, boiling water, the eggs straight from the fridge into there, timer for five minutes, and then straight to the ice bath, and then we let them cool, because hopefully even after all the smoking time, these eggs still have, like, a jamminess to them. And so very very soft boiled eggs so it took him a while doing this because these are very delicate eggs and so it is a little bit of a tedious process but y'all scotch eggs is one of my favorite things on this planet so i'm really glad he decided to make these for stuffed week 
And we've never made them on the um, smoker before. We typically just do breaded and fried, or I do breaded and fried. So this is Ryan's first time doing the scotch eggs. Yeah, I've never actually been the one making them. I'm usually only the one eating them, so I'm pretty excited to make them. Get your jam on. Cooking with Father Preneur appreciates the clean as you go. We're trying to get better at it. Trying to get better at it and always trying, always, always trying to keep sanitary. So we're at 279. We're not going to try to make this a big affair because if we do, we're going to pump more air into this thing. So it's going to be very quick. Yeah, so which is more oxygen and, and that's going to make it hotter as we go. So we're going to try to get them on here quickly. And then we're going to take advantage of the decrease in temperature by choking the vents down just a little bit after we close that lid. All right. So that's what's happening. That's what's up here. All right. All right, you yeah. get to be there. So we're not going to get to view them I have a, a lava long. stone inside of here, and I'm going to be taking advantage of that and placing them right over the top of it. So that lava stone absorbs a lot of heat and keeps things really consistent in the smoker, and it also enables us to have... That. So Benjamin says like the um, eggs are going in the green egg, but this isn't an it's egg. A, not an egg. It's an it's a, acorn. It's a black egg. It's not an acorn it's a, either. Oh, it's not an acorn. No, oh, our old one was an acorn. We used to have the acorn. That's the acorn is where that, that grill grate come from. Gotcha. So I looked very hard to find one where I could uh, keep that grill grate because it's a nice cast iron grate. And, yeah. So uh, this is like knockoff egg. Yeah, this one comes with like a stainless steel. A uh, little wire rack thing that I really think should be a lot better, but I was able to reserve that that nice uh, cast iron rack from the acorn. So we're going to chuck this down just a little bit more. Tiny, tiny adjustments here are paramount. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to choke this one down just a little. Just cover up half of those holes. All right. And we'll see how that does. We're not trying to like with that because then that makes the grill angry. It either makes it go too hot or it puts the fire out or it does like both in rapid succession. It makes you cry. That's what it. What, right what there, it. you go. That's what happens. It makes you cry. So very gentle adjustments. He's closing up the vent so that way less oxygen goes in there, and we can have less of a heat. So I will be your cleanup crew over here. Because while we are waiting on those, we're going to be stuffing some makers. You know? Setting up for the new thing. This is where I really wish that I had a paring knife. No, we need to get a new paring knife. We have one, but. Oh. Fine. Is it missing or not very good? It's not, it's not good. Okay. Oh. Fine. Is it missing or not very good? It's not, it's not good. Okay. All right. I think you are good to go, my sir. Yeah. But we might be experimenting with it. Yeah, so he's just doing a quick sharpen of the knife real quick, coming right back. Run it down my sharpening steel. Yeah. Reset. I run it through the sharpening steel over there and then I'm gonna turn it down my honing steel a couple of times here. More than a couple of times here. I love how I never have to sharpen the knife because he always does it for his show. Because you throw it around in the sink and damage the edge of it. So once you got that thing nice and sharp, probably don't want to just throw it in the sink and let it bang all around stuff. But that's not realistic because... Yeah, I, I feel like that's a, you know, off-air conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, that's not always realistic because sometimes... Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes. People don't... Think about that. Alright, so I got some of these. <laughs> What's going on in there? 
Yeah, so Father Perdue says that he lost his um, paring knife a while ago and he just uses a steak knife. A steak knife. I, actually, our steak knives are pretty darn sharp. Here, I'll grab you one. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thanks for that. Thank you, Father. Dear. Yes, yeah. thank you, Father and dear. They're a little serrated, but um, yeah, they are good. But you should totally, you know, watch Father Preneur's show Thursdays at your, noon on Food Talk TV. Uh, rubber ones. <laughs> because you can learn things like that. What to do yes. when you don't have a paring knife. I'm going to choke up on this bad boy. And then I'm going to need something to put these things on. And also... Here, I have that. This is also a new recipe for us. I've had these before and I absolutely love them. I mean, don't think I've ever made them. If I did, I don't remember it. And it was a long time ago. So. We are just going to get... I like how all the things you chose today are tedious. I mean, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> um, so Thank do you we for have the some, share. We have, we're going to be stuffing these with some cream cheese and herbs. And and they're going to be kind of a, a fresh offering. Yeah. So, um, so we do have um, some tarragon those. and some dill. Yes, tarragon and some dill. We'll be figuring that out as we go. I need to get a spoon. Oh, a, a baby spoon. I got my baby spoon. And y'all, if you don't know this about us, you you know are probably new here on Ryan's show, getting it in with Ryan. But he loves making food for to tailgate before the college games because we are balls fans. His shirt does say balls deep, and yeah. so um. Today we're playing Bama. Holy Let us know if you're rooting for anyone. We're going to scoop out the... Uh, 42 Rachel is in. Hello. 42 Rachel. And Donna just followed us. We appreciate you. Thank you, Donna. Aw. And he says that we're doing great. I think she's talking to you, not me. Uh, <laughs> it's a... Yeah, it's a... It's a wee... I it's mean, a wee... It's a wee effort here. Oh, it's a wee effort. It's only a wee effort. It's only a wee effort. And our smoked scotch eggs. We're back up. So we, uh, if you noticed, if you were here listening to me jabber on about grill temps and ups and downs, um, 267, we were at around 278 when we put those on. We opened it up, but then we choked it down a little bit. Now we're falling down to 266. I love that. That's good. That's the kind of decrease we're looking for. Thank you for, for the heart, me, right? We're not trying Rachel. to get down to 225 all at once. It's a slow process. If you're impatient, you're going to have a bad time. Um, I need a thing to put these on. Oh, so the thing I saw, because I looked up exactly one recipe, when usually I like looking up all the recipes whenever we're doing something particularly new, but the one recipe I did see suggested when you're stuffing these little tomatoes to line them on a paper towel and just like have them upside down. Okay. So as they rest, they drain. And I don't want to waste all these guts because, I mean, I'll just drink that for um, <laughs> a, a snack. Can I get a little bowl? Oh, yeah. Here to put the guts in. Chef's neck. Tomato guts. I feel like I should not be wasting them. Yeah. Gotta have chef's snacks. So, yeah. Um, I will I will definitely say you would do well to get the biggest ones you can find. Like, this is perfect for my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, the little itty bitty ones, uh, more power to you if you want to be trying to scoop the innards out of those guys. I originally was going to do um, some Roma tomatoes and I was thinking about wrapping those up in prosciutto or something and putting them on the smoker. And I did not do that. Yeah, we decided to go for like a cold thing instead. Yep. Cause I mean, we got a smoky thing. We need to have a fresh thing, a cold thing. I guess I could also be starting my um, quick pickle brine too because you know that's the thing we're gonna do yeah because we definitely do need to have some acid to this and he loves the chef snacks <laughs> oh yeah gotta have chef snacks 
That's why I mess things up. Like it's really on purpose so that I can show snacks. It's like after I get done cooking a meal, I'm not even hungry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm I'm such a, a grazer. Now let us know in the comments if y'all are rooting for someone this college game day. Also, if you're interested in NFL, we're interested in who you're rooting for as well. Unfortunately, we're Titans fans. Kind of, I can see it. <laughs> 263. That's good. That's great. That's great. And uh, if you start seeing that thing fall too rapidly, then you might want to be concerned and go ahead and get ahead of it and open up your um, your vents because figuring out how to work that smoker out there as a smoker it's it's great as a grill because you, you know you don't really have to think about it but when it's a smoker learning the uh learning the habits of your your smoker is very important benjamin's reminding us about grub match because he says he's rooting for cows tonight for grub match tonight it's gonna be at 6 p.m central we have it's nick bonono and he is challenging Kaz who is our CEO of Food Talk TV and FTTV and they have one it's our cooking competition grub matches our cooking competition they have one hour to compete with the special ingredient that they learned about last week and so this week the ingredient is yogurt so they have one hour to make yogurt dishes so we will see how that works you know you could also you could also smoke these too could toss these on the smoker. I feel like these could be smoked. They would be but... great smoked, but we're not doing that because we're not trying to disturb our smoker. Yeah. Um, you don't want to be. Oh, thanks for the pumpkins, up. Andrew, or eating with Andrew. We appreciate you. I, I'm terrible at the finger hearts. Mine always look like peanuts. <laughs> finger nuts. I need a Gen Zer to teach me how, or maybe an, just anyone. <laughs> Nick Bonono is going to be on tonight. He will be on at 6 p.m. Central competing against Kaz. So it'll be like a side-by-side -side where they'll be doing, and then I will be hosting. Yes, and then we'll figure out whether you uh, won or lost, and then yes. we'll also figure out what kind of ingredient they're going to be using. Oh, yeah, for the next week, because we do have new competitors for next week. I, yeah, I I'm like, excited he decided to do grub match with us tonight. <laughs> you know, I I feel like Kaz messed up when he, he, he uh, redrew that one last week. Oh, yeah, because I, whenever we draw the ingredient, I do allow each team or each person to do a redraw. And so I can't even remember what... Oh, the first one Nick decided to turn over because it was peanut butter. And then the next one, Kaz decided to redraw because it was mushrooms. <laughs> you get one mulligan. I feel like mushrooms was just a cream puff. Yeah. Peanut butter was terrible. That would be a terrible ingredient to have to... Yeah. Grub match is just so much fun, though. Yeah. Honestly, it's more fun to watch. <laughs> it's challenging. I used to give people the option of picking between three different people, but it was just whenever they come on to challenge someone, but it became so difficult to, you know, schedule that. So I always question though, why more people didn't pick me just because I can't make anything in an hour. But you know what? Last week you I made, did do three composed you made dishes. Three things in an hour. Yeah, three composed dishes. Three composed things, which is composed of other things. So you made many things. Yeah. So I'm always, I'm choking up on this for better control and I'm also choking up on it kind of as a depth gauge so I don't come through there and stab myself. So choking a uh, better control so I don't slice myself in a depth gauge so that I don't stab myself. Um, yes, let's get to 10K. Thank you for reminding us. And please don't stab yourself, sweetie. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we already have or one of us. My, or, or slice myself. We already have one of us that's out. Yeah. But <laughs> that wasn't a knife, actually. That was... Okay. I think whenever we say words like you know stab and stuff that's what oh. ai is just like it doesn't what? like it yeah it doesn't like oh, that no I'm sorry no. ai yeah i i noticed the numbers are oh because no. yeah i know no no it's so funny because um c-u-t is something that people will talk about on cooking shows a lot oh, because no. you know like oh I, I need to you know slice this but they'll say the c-word and andrea will be like oh no don't say the c-word and it's like that's 
Mm -hmm. People are misinterpreting that. Yeah, it sounds, <laughs> sounds worse than it is. Right, like, don't say the C word. <laughs> May, maybe instead of uh, saying, too, that we... When when we are looking for a particular result, we're, maybe we're aiming for it rather than essing for it too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, yeah, it's so tricky. AI. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's going to uh, it's going to rule all of our lives here shortly. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle Beasley is in. Hello there. Kyle. Kyle. And then, <laughs> yeah. Coconut. Coconut. All right, man. So yeah, both of the things that I picked up for today are very tedious. Annie, it is all good if you miss the show because I will be uploading it to our um, long form content page as soon as it's done. But um, yeah, sorry you won't be here, but you know what? It's good to have plans. Yep. Yeah. Join me later. Yeah. You can hang out with me. Over there. You just can't interact. Huh. 42 Rachel. I'm not quite sure on that. Um, I think because it's a side-by-side, -side, you'll also be able to mod the comment section as well. I'm not too certain on that. I will get back to you. You know, I got two packs of these. <laughs> yeah, no, just do the one. I'm not going to do yeah. two packs of these. This is so... We just decided to do the most tedious things today. Yep. <laughs> so tedious but I mean I know I'm gonna regret not doing more because these are so freaking delicious and you're gonna be like oh man you should have just did two packs of them right I can always do that later yeah but I'm holding it to it I have it on film for you guys I have it on film you said you would make more I later said I can always I didn't say I will always no no you said I will <laughs> yep you heard it here no, no, will you get that other pack and give me some better ones? I've, I've kind of left the smaller ones toward the end here, so we'll just, we'll sub those out with some. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Oh, yeah, some nice larger ones. ones. That is a difficult task to yep. do them with the smaller ones. Like, I feel like you could have gotten off a lot easier just doing Roma tomatoes, but... Yeah. But, Honestly, Melissa Murd did Roma tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, and that's one reason that I didn't, because I don't want to be a copycat. Right, because on this week, this week for Food Talk TV, the theme was stuffed, and so we all had to do stuffed things. And Ryan, whenever it comes to theme week, he doesn't want to do what other people are doing ever. <laughs> so he was following along with everyone's stuffed things. I'm fortunate because I get to see what everybody else does, and you know. But that also means a lot of my ideas early in the week. Yeah, they were taken. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Kaz so, did the stuffed pork, um, pork chop. Yeah, I was gonna. I was going to do Roman tomatoes, stuff them, and smoke them, and. Uh, but you know, I guess it kind of worked out, so yeah. you don't have to mess with the smoker temp. Right. Yeah. No. We're at two. Cooking with Crunchy's in the house. Crunchy. And his book is out, y'all. Be sure you check it out. Wrangling fire. It's not necessarily a cookbook, but just more on the how tos of how to wrangle fire. Yes. The do's and don'ts of smoker stuff. We've been doing a little bit of that today, Kunchi. We have a yeah. uh, uh, we're at, we're at 254 at our smoker tent, and we are making um, chorizo wrapped scotch eggs in the smoker, or a take on scotch eggs. Yeah. They are chorizo wrapped soft, very soft boiled eggs. And they are sitting there over there on the smoker at around 253 degrees now. And good thing for us, we just need the sausage cooked. We like, just need the sausage cooked. Yeah. We're not trying to leave these things on there because we want to keep, we, we're, we're, we're aspiring to get a, uh, a runny yolk or a jammy yolk. So this week, I'm going to go through what everyone has done so far on Stuffed Week because tomorrow is the last day of Stuffed Week and Christine will finish us off, but we have had a full week of stuffed things. So on Sunday, Kaz started it off with a stuffed pork, tent, pork chop. He did a stuffed pork chop. It was beautiful. I was really impressed with that. I mean, all of the food was beautiful, but like I thought that he did a great job with that wrapping. And thank you for the follow, Lynn. So then on Monday we had Arc. She did some egg rolls and some shrimp stuffed egg rolls. And then she also did some bang bang shrimp stuffed in wrap or um, rice paper. 
Then following that, on Tuesday, we had Coonchie that did like a cheesy crab stuffed chicken on his smoker or grill. I'm not quite certain. <laughs> he has so many different outdoor devices, it's difficult. On And then that night... <sighs> He's got some interesting stuff. Yeah, and then that night, Mayumi did a bacon and shrimp stuffed salmon. So that was really cool. Wednesday, Red Wagon Bakery did some caramel stuffed snickerdoodles. I'm done with this. You can step in front of the camera and tell them about it because I'm going to wash my hands and get okay, my yeah. uh, other stuff. So then there was the... And then there was so many things. I, I am going to keep forgetting them. But Andrea did some... Cheesecake stuffed apples. There was also, what was the, uh, oh, she did some stuffed peppers as well and that looked really good with like some meat and rice in there. Then Thursday was um, Benjamin. He did a shrimp cake stuffed salmon and then also did arancini with braised beef and goat cheese. So all that stuff there. And then he also did an anti-martini with stuffed olives on there. So he went all out with stuff. I did. Greek stuffed onions. So I did a ground beef, rice, seasoned tomato mixture into basically cooked and boiled onion peels. And then, yeah, yesterday, I'm sorry, this is a lot of stuff to remember and I'm just it's trying to recall. It's a whole menu and a lot of these things are on Food Talk TV right it's now, like on those. Stuff. If you go to the website, you'll be able to see the recipes for these. Then. Foodie Fridays with Maggie, Maggie the substitute teacher. She did some shrimp stuffed mushrooms. And then mm. that night we also had Mr. and Mrs. Crown Royal and they made volcano potatoes and Texas Twinkies, which is like brisket stuffed jalapenos that they had on their smoker. And then today we have some a take on scotch eggs where it's the soft boiled egg wrapped in chorizo that's on our smoker right now. And then we also have these stuffed tomatoes that he's working on. So he just hollowed this out. He decided to do some pretty tedious work today. So I need a little pot. Oh, um, over there on um, to the left, it's clean. Oh yeah. Little pot, little pot. Little pot, little pot. Let okay. me in. So yes, sorry I had to jumble my words there. I should have done a better job memorizing everything. But it's a full menu, y'all. We have two different creators that do shows Monday through Friday. And then we have a show on Saturday and Sunday. So we are doing live shows each and every day. And I am pretty excited for these. We basically just like hollowed out these really beautiful looking tomatoes. He's not gonna do all of those because that was a pretty tedious task. But you know, hollow these out, he's gonna fill them up with cream cheese and herbs and stuff. So are you setting up for some quick pickled onions too? I absolutely am. Yay! I love red pickled onions, y'all. And this is something I usually like to have, you know. Here, I'm going to get a different onion. But I like to keep them in the fridge. They're so good. I don't know if this is a more attractive onion. But anyway, I'm going to go back behind the camera because my day to be on the camera is Thursdays at 7 p.m. for my show, Cutting the Mustard. So there we go. Annie's back. Cool, cool. Maybe Ryan will be back soon because he's stuffing some tomatoes. Oh, I thought you said, I thought you said, and he's back. Oh, no, no. Annie came Annie's back. back. Annie's back. Annie's back. And he's back. And he's back. <laughs> back Thanks to back. That. Annie's. Thanks for that uh, miscommunication. Yeah. So if uh, you just heard Taylor talking about that, that's a whole lot of stuff. For stuffed week. If you have an idea for our theme weeks, the last time we did a theme week, it was on a stick. And then the week, the la the time we did theme week before that was colorful week. Uh, I need some. I need a. I need a bag. Here. We got a bag going in the freezer already. We like to save our scraps. Save your scraps. It usually ends up being a ton of onion scraps. Annie's back, and she's looking for trouble. This one does not want to delaminate. Oh. That's a tight onion. But it's completely cool because even though we're losing that pedal, it. it's going in the stockpile. Going in the stockpile. Stockpile for the stockpile. Stockpile for the stockpile. It's not stock going in there right now. 
Save your scraps. Yep. Build them up, man, because that's flavor. Benjamin is a huge fan of scrappy cooking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you make some liquid with that, and then you got stock. And then you got flavor. If you want to make some flavor. rice, like, you don't have to use water. You could use stock. You could, you could be flavoring your rice. So I'm going to chop this one in half. Some like to do whole rings. I find those a little bit stringy. But we're just going to cut them sort of thin. We're not going to like try to shave them. And we're not going to take too much care about like being too consistent. Although, oops, that one is a little wedgy. Little wedgy. Um, I'm going to try to get one more good or that, out of that. I do want them to be thin enough to pickle, to quickle pickly. Quickle pickly. Quickle pickly. And we're just going to set them on in there. And I like the rustic cuts with that because it, yeah. um, you know, you get some like super crunchy pieces yeah, and some and like some a little softer, you know, like the variety. It's a good variety and it's a good way to excuse, you know, weird knife cuts. When you got some barbecue going on, some smoked meats, some smoked scotch eggs like we're doing today. I don't think we can call them scotch eggs though. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm grappling with it. Uh, man. Pickled and onions are amazing. I like them on a pulled pork sandwich. Are these sandwich. Mexican eggs then? Um, possibly. They're, they're more I don't know. that. Is there a Mexican egg dish? I feel like there's plenty of Mexican egg dish. We well, did one. Yeah. Oh yeah. On this show. Yeah. Oh, I have a tool for that. Oh, you got a smusher? Yeah. It's my bar muddler. The bar muddler. So we do want to. Yeah, we want to pack them down. Some things in there. We're gonna do that, and then we probably yeah we need to get some liquid going on too because uh, if I were if I were efficient with my time, I would have started the liquid first and then chopped the onion. But I'm not efficient with my time because I'm not a pro, and I don't really care about time. Um, I just like to cook with you guys. Yeah. The uh, cider vinegar. Um, I have it out there. Oh, oh, I lost the cider vinegar. <laughs> Melissa Murd is here. Mm, she says Murt. she's so sorry she's late. I'm so glad you're here though because we were talking about you earlier because I think on your show last night mm. you were talking about scotch eggs. Oh, yeah. What is this thing? I spit some of the mother in there. Oh no. Why is why is this a squirt bottle? This should never be a squirt bottle. Ah. So we're just gonna squirt this cider vinegar in here. So on our smoker we don't have it's not scotch eggs, but it's like a take on scotch eggs where we wrapped them with chorizo rather than the breakfast sausage and rather than breading and frying them, they're on the smoker. So not really scotch eggs, but like kind of. All right, We're struggling is, to call them. This is lame. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that with a little bit of uh, regular cold vinegar. Are you doing water in your pickling liquid at I'm all or not? Uh, I mean, I like my pickles to be pretty pickly, so I'm probably not gonna do water. There you have it. But you know what? This thing heats the induction cooker heats up fairly quickly. Yes, it does. So we can go ahead and start heating this up fairly quickly. I think medium low, probably. Medium low? I don't know. I would do like medium, medium at least. Medium at least. So we're going to use the medium at least setting here. And I'm going to look for something that I forgot what it was. Um, ADHD is a fun sport. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> call this show trying to cope with Ryan. Yeah. Um the this mortar and pestle. Oh the meaty one? Yeah. Hey whatever one. We don't have a maxi one. Well technically the mocha hete is a mortar and pestle. Yeah yes it's a, it, technically speaking. But it's a little more porous than I would like uh my mortar and pestle to be right now. I'm just gonna give these a little crack. Take a crack at him. She says you look so handsome in your apron. Oh, Melissa Moon does. 
So he's just cracking some peppercorns. Yeah, I'm not trying to like grind them up. I want these things full. And I'm just turning them a little smushed. And some of them aren't smushed in that school too. Are you adding and any sweetener? To your pickled onions Why or not? Would you want sweet? I don't know. Sometimes people do. Some people are sweeter than others. I'm not a very sweet person, so um so I don't want spice berries there. I'm gonna not use all the all that spice. Not and I'm all gonna use all berry. spice berries in there too, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just I'm gonna smash them. And I've lost sight of my grill temp yet again. 246, love it. Love it. So that method uh worked where we open it up, let some heat out, close it quickly, choke those vents down just a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna use the allspice in there. Um, and then I also have, I have some tarragon that I got a deal on. Uh, and uh, like, dude, that's a great tarragon. For yeah. $1.31. Yeah. Like so are you shoving those in the jar bucks. as well? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to shove the tarragon in the jar. Um, I'm just going to... Melissa Murd, thank you for the roses. I'm going to be removing the tarragon before I go into the jar with it. I just want to get that flavor from the tarragon. So I'm going to pull them out of the liquid before I go into the jar because I don't want a bunch of leaves hanging out in my jar. And... Um, that's cool. Yeah. Um, cooking with Father Panera says that he got it on sale too in Arizona. <laughs> so we <laughs> must man. be a sale on tarragon week. I mean, yeah, they got like more tarragon. Yeah. All right. Then they could uh, use there. All right, cool. And now I need to make while I'm doing this, I need to make something to stuff these little tomatoes with. Because we didn't scoop them out for nothing. Right. How long has our um, have our? Oh crap! I eggs did not. Been? Didn't check Look at the time. That. I think it was like, it might have been about 30 minutes ago. Well, what time is it now? It's 11.53. 11.53. So, oh yeah. Got a nice little simmer here. That's what we're going for. Are you going to let it simmer that long? or? I'm going to let it simmer just a little bit. Just to get the tarragon, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just to get that tarragon going. We can use our... Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Just gonna bring that to a simmer. And then now that it is simmering, I need to put some salt in it. Ah, here we go. I don't want to add my salt before because you can put some little nasty little spots on the bottom of your uh, stainless steel cookware if that salt Ooh, I can the smell the tarragon. I know, right? It's, that was a quick infusion. It packs a punch. Look at it. It's already uh, it's do what thou wilt. Um Ooh, Ooh. and the induction cooktop for the wind. So oh I'm yeah, set and that, that down on low now. I just wanted a good little simmer on it and then I'm gonna take my tarragon out. Boom. We have a trash can back there. He's just not yeah, just, yeah, I'm not just dropping that on the floor. So I'll take my tarragon out. You could make, you could, you could use other herbs. You could use, you make a sachet if you didn't want all these chunks in your onions. But I like the chunks in my onions, so uh, it's just a quick pickle. Do what thou wilt. Do what mm. thou wilt. Just a quick pickle, and we have some more liquid, so we can do something else with that. Nope. Got to get the tomatoes. Don't do anything else. Don't add to your list. I, I meant later. Oh, okay. I could. So, do something with that. And that. All right. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do later. Hmm. Probably sit and scream at my TV here in a couple of hours. Right. So now we got to make that stuffing. Yep, got to make that stuffing. Oh, here's that stuff, cream stuff. cheese for you. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Cream cheese. And uh. down below the level there on the top. Oh, you know what, 42 Rachel, she did suggest using um, the tip of a sandwich bag and squeeze it in tomatoes. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, I was going to say, we don't have like the tiny bags. We have the large bags, but not the tiny bags, but I have like a little piping thing yeah, if you want to use that. Like the... I didn't put a tip in there or anything. Ah. Yeah, I set that up for you, babe. Well, isn't that fancy? But definitely sandwich uh, that's bag. That's a big opening, isn't it, though? 
I mean, yeah, but you're gonna have chunks of stuff in there. I, I mean, I, I, I am gonna have chunks of stuff in there. Yeah. Um, I didn't get any shallots. Do we have a shallot? Not sure how that looks on the inside. We've had that for right. a bit. Yeah, I was, um, of course, with the tarragon, the first idea I went to was Brunei sauce, but I don't want to have to do all that. And I most certainly would not be able to do it anywhere in an hour with all the other stuff that I'm doing. So, I didn't get shallots. But, thankfully. Oh, thank you, Melissa. We get them quite often. Hey, I cut that thing right in a little crack. Right now, shall I crack? Shall I crack? Is. Oh, people love our teamwork, babe. Oh, yeah, Aww. thank you, people. Thank you. No shall it, crack. shall it be, shall it be? No, shall it be? Shall it be? This one had a little speckle on it, so. If you could give that a rinse. And I won't be using those in the stock bag because they have a little speckle on them. So I don't want to put anything questionable in the stock bag. I do think that we should probably go out and check on our um on our stuff. Our eggs. Our stuff. Our stuffed sausage. Hmm. Maybe that's what we'll call it. Instead of scotch eggs, we'll call it egg stuffed chorizo. Yes. I like that. Egg, egg stuffed, stuffed chorizo. chorizo. There you go. Yeah, because it's stuff week, and that's why we're doing stuff. So let's go check on them. All right, 243 degrees on the smoker. I don't like to be a wiki loo, but I mean, I don't want to make these eggs more done than they need to be either. Oh my God, look at that. Yes. Oh my goodness. I think they could probably use a little bit Yeah, I feel longer. like. Oh, look, they're still jiggly. Oh uh -huh. my God. They're close. They're what close. a temperature pro. I think they're close. I, d I think, I think they're... you have time to stuff tomatoes before they're done. Just a little bit. Knock it up a little bit. Ah, yes. Um. Uh, how's the piping bag work? I don't know. I've never used one of those. I mean, I mean, I, I know how a Ziploc bag works because I can control the size of the tip of it, but that looks like that looks too big. Okay, I'll get you a bag. All right, so we got some cream cheese. Here you go. It's been sitting there. I would hate to mess with you. Yeah, yeah. Because I like that using was these. Totally, yeah, that was off plan. I, that, that just. Threw you off. Threw like, me off. I don't know how to deal with that fancy equipment. Yeah, all that fancy equipment. Like, well, you know, I don't. I figure like most people don't have a piping set up. Like, I think I got those at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I mean you could, but I don't know. Is everyone? Am I just not like with it? Maybe I'm just not with it. Maybe everyone just intuitively has a piping bag. Oh, a uh, puzzle piece. Mm. To authent. Mm. That's puzzling. Oh, how is Gordon Quaxy today? Mm -hmm. He is very judgmental. He is very judgmental. He knows we've been doing tedious work. Right. He's telling me it's taking too long. Right. Definitely. But you know um, what? I need a um I need a mixing thing. Um and some parsley too. I would like to put some parsley in here. Oh, and some, so we have some herbs and some onions. Uh, ooh, do we have chives? Um, I don't know how they're looking in the garden. Mm, I can't tell. I will go check. Go check. I'll check the garden. Mixing thing. I want to use some lemon juice. I just almost messed up over here. And I also want some zest in there. Zest should probably go in here.
think this may be the last of our chives from the garden. But I was able to get some. Okay. Y'all, yeah, if you anything. have garden space, grow chives because these come back every single year without me having to do anything. And once they've uh, lived two years in your space, they will develop some beautiful purpley, pinkish, lilac y colored chive flowers. Oh, yes. Which are delicious. We always soak them in vinegar and then have this like chive vinegar. Mm hmm. We do. So. I mean, obviously, I got lemons out and I got some cream cheese. I'm definitely zesting that like, oh, yeah, all no. day, every day. He's definitely doing the Ziploc bag thing. Every I like my paper bags though. I mean, they're good. They're good, but like. And then Racetrack says that their mom taught them how to make piping bags with parchment paper. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. That sounds fun. I'm again using seedless lemons because I hate doing unnecessary work. Yeah, I hate picking seeds out of things, but I don't have to. So we got cream cheese, some lemon zest, lemon juice. Lemon zest, lemon juice. That's going in there, and then uh, I'm going to start breaking up this cream cheese while I figure out what else I'm doing here. Are you I probably should have done that chives? before. Yeah, I'm going to get more base though before I start adding any more ingredients. I need some, uh, oh, what do we have? We have... Yogurt! The, we have the uh, main ingredient. For grub match for tonight. For grub match tonight. So we're going to like, throw a little bit of that in there just because we're cheeky. And we kind of want to thin out that cream cheese some a little bit too. So we might come back to that. We might need more of that. I don't know. I, th I think it'll help everything. Hey, would you like an electric mixer? Yeah. I feel like that would make it so much easier. Probably, but it'd also make things so much louder. I don't want to scare really. anybody away. No, this is this is all this is easy. This is good. Cream this cheese is, is soft. This is fine, man. You can like once you get it kind of going, you just kind of smush it up against the side of the bowl the here, and then yeah, it's going. I've had enchilada pasta. Hmm. Enchilada sounds pasta? Good. I've yeah. had a lot of pasta, but not enchilada pasta. Yeah, Michael Perez just asked if we liked enchilada pasta. I mean, it sounds amazing. I've had Mexican lasagna. Yeah, love so that. I love that. We make that sometimes. Yeah. All right. Smash it around. Slop, 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 slop. slop, slop, slop. Probably should have accepted that mixer from you, but you know. Nah, it, it's still here. I always should have listened to my wife. Yeah. I'm sorry, what did you say? I can still eat my words. I'm sorry, what did you say? So yeah, I'm going to use some shallots here. And, uh, shallot be, shallot be. Uh, over here. Melissa Murth says she does that to Mark too, which is funny. The whole like, I'm sorry, you said what now? I do that right? to Taylor as well. Don't, oh yeah, we don't, don't get me wrong on that. <laughs> Got to keep each other in check. Yeah, it's a very important thing to do. Davey says it looks great. We are just making a stuffing for mm. our tomato stuff. We're gonna put that many shallots in there, and if we feel like we need some more, we'll go back to it. I'm gonna at this point hit it with some black pepper. Not gonna go too wild here because I do have another plan for black pepper here and that. And then I have four chives, which is more than we thought we would have. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna hit it with some chives. Nikki says it looks great. I'm excited for these stuffed tomatoes. To get some herbs in there, you know what? We can double down on our chive chopping time here. We could probably even go more extreme than that, but we're not. I love me some chives and our chive plant. Oh, I know. Oh. 
you you made it, you, you you did some chai flower vinegar this year, didn't you? Oh yes, I definitely do have some chai flower vinegar. Always take advantage of that. Yes, you, but like the chai flowers taste of, really good just on their own. Oh yeah, yeah, and you could probably put some of that chai flower vinegar in there as well. I'm also gonna hit it with some dill. Oh, do you want? No, I not you. I mean. Not. I put the lemon in there already because I wasn't yeah. thinking about the whole chive train, but hop on the chive train. That's the deal that I'm going to take. I don't want, you can use the, the, the stalks there, but I don't want them because I don't want them to get clogged up in my makeshift piping bag. I don't want it to go down the pipes. But I do definitely want dill in here. It's pretty ideal. It is ideal. So ideal. I hit it with, man, just a little, little, little bit of salt. Because I got more salt planned for later as well. All right. And then I want a little bit of parsley. Yeah. If I were urban it up here. Urban on up. And then we want to keep a close eye on those scotch eggs. I really think that we should check on the Why are you so excited for these eggs? So what they've been about 40 minutes, is that kind of what we predicted? Yeah, it's been about, uh, yeah, it's been about 40 minutes. 40, 30, 45 minutes? Something Maybe, like yeah, like 45 minutes probably. We got our temps down. Yeah, it's down to 240. Yeah, 249. You could probably also brush those with some sauce and it would be really good. So I'm going to give these a quick stir and we're just going to let these hang out for a second while I do go do that. Oh, while we go check on the eggs? Yeah, check on the eggs. Okay, I got a plate and some tongs. Perfect. Uh, and the and the instant read if you got it. Oh, um, uh, we'll uh, take the sausage temp. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I, uh, here I'll take the plate. I got. Yeah, you. but I don't know what to do with the camera filming. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. You, you come over here and look at these eggs. I'm pretty certain that we'll take them. I think we'll take them at this point, but he's gonna run and grab the therm thermometer. Ah, uh, yes. So basically, it was our take on a scotch egg, but instead of the breakfast sausage, we did chorizo, and these have been on the smoker about 45 minutes. They were soft boiled prior to that, so I'm kind of hoping it comes out. Still pretty jammy, but you know what? Even if the eggs are hard boiled, I think they'll still be delicious. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm pretty nervous. We're just gonna stick this in the thickest part of the sausage. Uh, you don't want to hit the bone because <laughs> that means you've got bone in your sausage and it's a pretty bum deal. I got one. Uh, you don't want to hit the bone because <laughs> that means you've got bone in your sausage and it's a pretty bum deal. I got one. That's done, right? I mean, technically, with uh, I, I would wait for the 165. So let's stuff the tomatoes and then we'll be right back out. 165 with pork, really? Well, I mean, if I was cooking like pork loin or something else, 145 is okay. But once the meat is ground, you know, you want it to be done. Done. So we're pretty consistent around the board here. Okay, yeah. Cool. So let's shut that. Uh, we don't lose too much heat there. And maybe we'll kick it up just a little bit. Open it since we had it open for so long. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to leave this thing out here. Yeah. Alrighty. So let's stuff some maters. Let's do that. I need a whisk. <laughs> Hand mixer. <laughs> I just don't want to make all that noise, man. It's people get bummed like out seconds. when you make the noise. And I think the whisk is gonna get stuck in there. It is. But I mean, it's not gonna be much. Yeah. Whenever we do live shows, we don't like using things with a whole lot of loudness, but. We're just trying to homogenize everything. I mean, it didn't really matter if you get it like completely homogenized either, unless it, like, you're just into that. Um, you could also use some mayo in here. You could use some butter in here. You could use a lot of things in here. Some sour cream in here would be nice. 
we decided to use yogurt because next here you could use a lot of things in here some sour cream in here would be nice we decided to use yogurt because next week we have our a member of food talk tv and they have one hour to cook with the special ingredient and this week's special ingredient is yogurt plus i, I feel like people would rather see me whisk it than use a mixer on it because this is fun to watch I don't know, probably not, but <laughs> they're probably like, Ryan, just listen to your wife. Seriously, she's a queen for So a it's reason. not tartar sauce, it's like a cream cheese and lemon zest mixture that he has with some herbs and shallot and stuff. And you get to lick the whisk. Oh, yay. And then we're going to be stuffing these little tomatoes with them. Yep. Mmm, that is so yummy. Isn't it? So good. So good. Ah. Uh, I feel like I have a cream stash. <laughs> Probably did. You could also probably just throw all this stuff in the bag and then just squish it around a lot. Yeah. Like that'd probably be a more efficient way to mix it, but if I were efficient. You would have done the hand mixer. I would have done the hand mixer. I don't know. There's a bunch of different ways to mix. Yeah. So many ways to do things. So many ways to do things. The only way, the only way that matters is your way. Yeah. Ryan very much so doesn't like using all the tools and stuff that I like. I, like, I feel like it makes me. Are more... scissors too complicated, or would you prefer to, you I'm know, use, use a knife? I'm freaking chef knife. I don't want to <laughs> dirty up a pair of scissors. I don't want to be washing scissors. Um, it, it makes me feel more connected to my food. But these bugs kind of also suck too. Oh, we hit 10k likes. Ooh, Thank y'all. 10k. What? So weak, man. <laughs> So yeah, if you had the smaller ones that aren't the stand-up ones, I don't know, man. I forgot we had the stand-up ones. But we can still get a little nipple out of that thing. There we go. And I feel like that's probably the same. Freaking same as the piping bag. Ah. <sighs> uh, I know. I'm so peculiar. You are. You can't tell me anything. Uh, it's so egg stuffed chorizo. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Okay. Is that gonna work? That's gonna work. Oh but yeah, yeah it's gonna work. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause the only bags we had were like the stand up kind. Yeah, I know. I was not uh, thinking about that. I was thinking about that nice little corner. Nice tight little corner. And there. And uh, will you give me something to stick these on? Oh yes. Stuff those bad boys. All right, that's a little big plate for those. Um. Oh. Um. <laughs> this plate or a side plate? Yeah, a side plate. Just a little okay. little side plate. That'll be perfect. You are being very peculiar today. I mean, not just today, but. Yeah, no, it's not just a date. Seriously not. And I also forgot that I was going to... Put a little base at the bottom? Yeah, I was going to turn these over and salt and pepper them because that's a thing you should also be doing. The thing that I should also be doing. Because yeah. we want to season everything. We want to do that in, in, in stages. Thank y'all for tapping the screens. I sure do appreciate you. Maria not, Mall is back. Hello. Maria Mall. We're still here. Don't you worry. We're still messing around with these tiny little freaking tomatoes. Yeah. We're well, to be fair, in the past, those. you've also checked on the eggs and then made some pickled onions yeah, we and made stuff some and things. the filling. We also made some things in the meantime. We didn't just check on the eggs. Or, I mean, we didn't just do these. Now I got... Oh, shit. This bag does suck. <laughs> It's coming out of two holes. Oh no. It's okay. No, it's not. Ah! Oh, uh, yes, it is. 
freak. You know what? I'll take that piping bag there, Woo! wifey. And then I had the piping bag over this jar here so it would be easy to fill. Like so. <sighs> yeah, I know. All right. You know what, Ryan? You don't even have to say it. I know I was right. Good. But you know what? To be fair, you also weren't expecting that sandwich bag to be the kind that stands. Yeah, no. And I had like zero time to get any of this set up because I was like running around Nashville doing errands before all this. So thank you for all the thoughtfulness. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You know what? Maybe this just further extruded it and it, like, it mixed it when it extruded it. Yeah, there you go. Extra mixing. I'm gonna eat this like a yogurt yogurt. <laughs> it kinda is a yogurt because we yeah. do have yogurt. Right? It's a cream cheesy yogurt. Well then you have a tip for this then? You, you said you didn't want to use a tip or anything. Well, I and I would have the bag. I would have put the tip on before you the can't mixture. Put it on but now? Oh, you had to put it inside? Yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. I mean, I have another mm, piping so, bag, but... No, I mean, this is too much. That's too much. Yeah. We're, we're going to go But I mean, this. I really... I thought that the tip would have been... Because um, anytime I make anything, like, rather chunky like this, because you do have the shallots and the herbs and stuff like that, like, no matter what tip I get, like, it will get stuck in there. So it really is easier without the tip, I promise you. Yeah, this whole thing is a lot easier now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. is way much better. <laughs> Thank you, wife, for being uh, right. Being right and knowing what you're talking about. Aww. Trying to talk some sense into me. There we go. Ah, yes. So much more satisfying to watch. You're satisfied about the uh, the not the tomatoes. <laughs> well, I'm excited for the tomatoes, but I am too, man. I wish I had more time to sit here and just scoop out tomatoes because these are not going to last very long. I promised that. And I don't really have enough to fill up a, a dish with them. Ah, shit. And they're falling over. Oh. Yeah. I got too much stuff in my way. Yeah. Let me, let me, uh. Yeah, clean up and I'll. Hold on. Let me think this through here. Oh, here. Oh, better idea. That is a better yeah, idea, Ryan. Here. I think that they'll be nice to nestle on the bed, but I don't want to get smeared cream cheese all over the sides of them. So, uh, I going to be really careful with them. Where is the little square one? So, why not just the rectangle? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, just do the one we always use. Alright, so That'll we're just going to we'll put the eggs on there too. Yeah. We'll put the eggs and tomatoes on together. So we're going to leave these over here until we get the eggs off. And we'll just throw them all on the same garden. That's what we'll do. That's the way we're going to do this. Yeah. We have our washed wet arugula here. Yeah, I thought I pat those dry better because I did wash that. No, thank you so much for being here. And I'm glad he's taking his time with these tomatoes because the eggs on the smoker are taking a bit longer than the 30 minutes. Yeah, well, we want to go check on those so that they don't get overdone. Yeah. We really want some jammy yolks, man. <laughs> Maria Mall says you can't do anything quickly in Nashville. <laughs> no, 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 hell no. Not at all. That ain't the place for that. I feel like any time I have to go anywhere, it's a 30 minute drive. All right, like, let's go check. Okay. Off to the smoker. Oh yeah, I feel like no matter what, they'll be ready to pull. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, they're, they've gotten... Here, let's go in this one. This ah no, I didn't want to go that far. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, they're gonna Pull they're they're gonna hit about 160. We're gonna carry over. And I really don't want those yolks to get too. Yeah, I don't want them to be too done, I don't but know we will how this see. Is gonna work with yeah, the we don't know. This is this our first time adventure. making this. Yes, yeah. this is an adventure. 
So that looks. But yeah, this is our take on scotch eggs, but rather than the breakfast sausage, we wrapped it in chorizo. They still feel a little boingy and springy, so I feel like we got feel maybe pretty confident yolks there. But at this point, we'll, we'll any, take it. Any extra second here is altering the state of our yolks. Yes. And even that carryover cook, too. Yes. I'm scared about the yolks. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, taste. Just, just the grease coming off. <laughs> just the grease coming off was great. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've got a lot going on here. Yeah. But I always do. Yeah. That's what happens when you're getting it in with Ryan. That's what. I, yeah. You get. You're really getting it in. Get in with Ryan, where you fit in with Ryan. I'm gonna enjoy this. This is gonna be a little snack. <laughs> All right, cool. So should I think we should let them rest for just a second, though, or should we not? Hmm. Taylor? Huh? Oh, so I think. I we think we'll let them rest for a second. For a so second. let's plate the tomatoes, uh, and then. I want to. I'm gonna. I, I gotta wait for those to get on the plate before I put the tomatoes in between. Cause that's how I'm gonna stand everything up. Right. So now we're kind of at a dead spot. We're. Come on, I'm exactly. definitely gonna try one of these tomatoes though. Absolutely. Oh yeah, please do. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like these need some sort of like little garnish. They do. They they need some dill fronds. Yeah, we'll just let these eggs rest for like five minutes. Usually any sort of meat or anything I cook, I like to rest at least 10. But I'm getting pretty anxious about these eggs. I'm I am, so scared about what I they're going to look so like. I am so terrified. Yeah. Because they've been on there for close to an hour. Like, of course, with the heat from the meat. like. But I did make them super soft boiled, like where I only had them boiling for five minutes. Typically for my soft boiled eggs, I boil them for six. I'm surprised that they peeled so easy because those were new eggs. Yeah. Too, and so you did a great job peeling those suckers. Thank you. Oh yeah, these are way prettier. But you know, I have been looking at something and I've never tried this before where people like to make scotch eggs. I was reading up on someone doing this where they stuck the eggs in the freezer. Raw like just eggs in the freezer raw. And no, it wasn't for scotch eggs. It was just for breaded and fried eggs. And so they were raw and then stick them in the freezer. You let them sit in the freezer for like two days until they kind of explode and like crack a little bit. And then you peel them, bread them and fry them. Oh, interesting. So I've been wanting to try that. Thank you for the follow. Bomo, Bomeo, Bo 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 Bomo. I'm gonna go with Bomo. 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 I like Bomo. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> All right. Has it been five minutes yet? Uh, we're going to say it has. Yep. You know what? And then we'll, you know, learn our lesson if it's... So we are going to try this smallest guy right here. The one we're most scared of? Yeah. The one we're most... Well, this was the sacrificial egg. Yes. And Oh, yeah. That's right. Cutting it with a serrated knife, which is kind of also dumb, but I'm doing it on I... a plate. So... <gasps> So he's a little jammy. A little jammy. A little Yay. jammy. They didn't get. It's not a runny one. Not a runny one, but it's still a little jammy. Not a runny one, but these other ones do have some um, opportunity here. Give me another, a little, a little slicing board there, so I can plate these up. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go like, ahead. Um, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Oh man. Thank you for prettying up my tomatoes there. Oh, you are so welcome. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... Ah. Oh, no. Okay. It's a, a so, little custardy... We'll yeah. call them custardy eggs. Yeah, custardy eggs. Not necessarily eggs. jammy eggs. But custardy eggs. I'm pretty stoked. So, not... So, <laughs> so maybe a higher smoke tent next time. Our Babs just time. came in, hello, and she wants to know what these are called. And um, we are still figuring that out This is ourselves. egg stuffed sausage. 
Ooh. But yeah, it's our take on the scotch egg, but rather than the breakfast sausage, we did chorizo. Did chorizo. And then we had them on the smoker. Yes. So yeah, custardy eggs. We love scotch eggs, like. Yeah, so uh, we had brunch. a little more unpredictable here. <laughs> Maybe we would do well to uh, soft boil them and then throw them in the refrigerator for a little while. Oh yeah, just to make sure or they're super cold. The well, the eggs were in the ice bath for a bit, so they were still fairly cold, but I wonder if maybe yeah. even throwing them in the freezer for a bit. Or maybe just raise our smoker temperature and keep it at that 300 uh, for the duration so we could cook that oh, sausage yeah. a little quicker. I don't know. We're gonna be experimenting with this one. Oh yeah, no, this is a good recipe, I like it. Boy, I'm cool with custardy eggs. Yes. You know, that's not bad. I'm cool with custardy eggs. Definitely not hard boiled. Yeah, not but like hard custardy. Boiled. Custardy. Not yeah. jammy, but not hard boiled. Yeah. The ones, you know, maybe we should have also turned, Also rotated them too. Rotated yeah, we should have rotated them because you can see like half of it is mm -hmm. more done than the other. But yes, yes. Shoulda, woulda, coulda for next time. Shoulda, this is the first woulda, time. Coulda. Yes. So many people are saying they would tear these up. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're still going to be amazing. Yeah, no. We're just being picky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we're being particular. But, hey, it's our first time making this recipe, so we definitely want to... We're definitely excited to do this. And that one's that one's going to go mm -hmm. to you, and I probably would have mm -hmm. not had mm -hmm. these so tightly put together if I would have known that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. I love the smoky chorizo in here. here and then like the egg is just go. nice and soft so it's not like a runny yolk I love runny yolks though but and mm. yeah we're setting these out it's just on. like a nice jammy filling mm. Mm. and we can position our little in oh, so there. Bab says that she can't hear us. Mm. Can y'all hear us? Can everyone else hear Can us? Can anyone hear us? Are we, you know? Okay, cool. People can hear. Cool. People can hear. All right, cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, kind of like scotch eggs, but not breakfast there. sausage, but mm. chorizo, breaded and fried. Mm. Oh, yeah, I need to try these too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, that was definitely worth the effort. It was so tedious. Mm, yes, but so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's great. Oh yeah, no, I'm a huge fan. Huge mm -hmm. fan. And then we had also made some pickled onions. Are those going to hit the plate or not? Mm hmm Mm. They will. I'm just trying to be careful here. You know what? That one doesn't have a good deal on it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Eating the ones that aren't as pretty. Mm -hmm. Just doing the best for the team. Doing the best you can for the photo. Yeah. Taking one for the eggs. Yeah. Ooh, how would we warm these up? You won't. I, I don't, yeah, I you think won't. I would rather eat, eat these cold. I would rather eat these cold. Yeah. But if they're, I did have to warm them up, I would probably put the two halves together and just like air fry for they're like a minute. Probably not that great. Do you have those little bitty tongs? The baby tongs? Yeah, probably the air fryer, but they're probably not even that great when they're cold. So I would just eat, I would make as many as you can eat in a sitting. Oh, I, I have my chicken feet. I don't know where the chicken feet are. I know, that's okay. Oh, chicken feet. Chicken feet? Yeah. Yeah. He's very peculiar. I like my chicken feet. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. And then we can just put a little pile of, um, of What up? Mr. Crown Royal says, send me two, please. Onions. Yeah. I'll, I'll. Yeah. You, you need to come over and get some. Yeah, but I, I yeah. have eaten scotch eggs cold. I don't think they'll though. travel too well. I have eaten scotch eggs cold before, and they're not bad. I mean, this is the breakfast of champions right here. Yeah, we're just gonna pile them up there. Yeah. Some and then with those with pickled them. onions he did with black peppercorn, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, um, some tarragon, and some allspice berries. Yeah, tarragon, and I took the tarragon out of there 
and some allspice berries and like like you were saying like uh Kunchi says you need some whole allspice berries in there that's so funny that you referenced him because Kunchi's in here and he says ryan is a whole chef <laughs> <laughs> thank you Kunchi. Yes. I'm more, I, I learn a lot from Kunchi. Kunchi is amazing. He's the man. So go check him out because you can learn a lot from him too. He is one of our creators on Food Talk TV and he goes on on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Central. So yeah, this is it, y'all. <laughs> what are you doing? More. <laughs> do I need more? Am I just being excessive? I don't think so. I don't think there's. I mean, any you're gonna do it anyway. With it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Not gonna do it. No. But I already kind of rolled it up though. But that's mm. okay. Ah, uh, but not. yes, these are our take on the Scotch eggs. Oh. Oh yeah, a little bit of parsley to the top. Parsley on the top. Okay. So guys, plate is perfect. Ooh, yes, it is, y'all. So these are the stuffed tomatoes that he made with a cream cheese lemon filling. And there's also yogurt in there as well. And then our take on the scotch eggs, but in the smoker. So I think next time we are gonna try to put the eggs in the freezer for a bit before we smoke them, just so we can get more of a, you know, jammy yolk. But these aren't hard boiled, they're like custardy. And so it's like a nice little creamy filling in here. Yes. So we have the pickled onions too. Stuffed maters, y'all. This we is- We still have a whole piping bag full of this awesome fillings that we can just Wet all over the top of them. Oh, yeah. who knows? Kind of, oh, yeah, who kind knows? Of wild we're we're stuff. gonna use the rest of that filling for yeah. sure. Who knows what kind of wild stuff we're gonna get into? Yeah, with these guys. Uh, oh, everyone's saying you're doing such a great job. Well, thank you, everyone. Melissa Murd says, Ryan, you are fabulous. I adore you. And he says, Well done. Grandma Terra says, Everything looks amazing. We appreciate y'all sticking with us because this has been a very long show of ours, however, yes. Sorry about that. Come on, y'all. These eggs were worth These it. eggs. Which, you know, even though it took you a bit of time to like figure out what you were doing with the tomatoes and stuff, I'm glad you took that time because, you know, the smoker. The smoker, I mean, the, you needed the time. The important thing here is that you don't get uh, food poisoning. So we <laughs> took the time to make sure that the sausage was cooked properly. Well, Grandma Terra says that we should use that filling for the uh, jalapeno. Grandma Terry's been, been been paying attention. <laughs> Knows what? That's exactly what we'll do. Maybe we'll come back here in a little bit and do that later. Yeah, on Ryan's page. Yeah. So yeah. Absolutely. But yes, y'all, move that knife out of the way. It's ruining my shot. Thank uh, you. It's ruining everything. Ruining my shot. Oh, ruining everything. Cooking with Country's coming in with those roses. We appreciate y'all. Thank you, Country. For the roses. Roses really smell like ooh ooh. ooh. But y'all. This plate is amazing. Yes, I am so excited about these. I'm definitely gonna grab another one of these tomatoes too. Thank you for all those roses. We appreciate you. Mm. Oh, hmm? Oh, I don't know. We'll deal with that later. Well, thank you guys for coming out and watching and um, so we do need to stay on for just another minute just because um yeah just because Crunchy's throwing us these roses oh yeah yeah so I we gotta know. stick take, around for the roses make it rain i'll take all you got yeah yes oh man y'all i am so excited about these did you steal i'm one of those? no i didn't steal one of those oh. <laughs> and melissa murd's coming in with some roses too mm. so we are gonna have to Hang out, but we are going to be taking pictures of these as well. I am so excited. I wonder if we should write a recipe for this on Food Talk TV because you can definitely go check out our recipes on Food Talk TV from what you see in live shows, or if we want to perfect it and then post it. Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, because this is one of my favorite things. Love the roses. Yes, Melissa Murd loves the roses. Fantastic teamwork. Thank y'all so much for being here, and I think I am allowed to sign off. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out on this beautiful third Saturday in October. This has been stuffing it in with Ryan. No, that's no. It. It's been getting it in with Ryan, and I'm not gonna throw this whole tray of eggs at you. So get out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thanks for joining us.